our irrigation of uh, arborvitaes in the field starts with a control and here we have two separate lines going to two separate areas that we're irrigating. We turn this on and now water will flow through this half inch pipe out to the field. This is a field of arborvitaes that we just recently planted in the middle of the summer. It's July 20th. These were planted about three days ago. It's a very dry part of the summer, but it's easy to grow these arborvitaes if you can water them. And as you can see, the drip tape is right in here. This shows the drip tape dripping water onto the tree. The tree is about six inches away from, the, from where the water is, but the water will plume out. This water is dripping at every two foot interval down along the line. It's a very efficient way to water a lot of trees because you're not wetting a lot of surface. The subsurface is what you want to water. When we're watering arborvitaes or other trees that we've planted, one garden hose can usually water approximately 500 trees easily. Now if we have more areas to water and we set up more garden hoses to more areas and then more drip tape, the pressure will drop and as the pressure drops you don't get as uniform a distribution of water over long periods. This particular field is about 150 yards long and there's over 500 arborvitaes in it. So you can see it does a very good job of watering and we usually do two or three sections at a time from one well. Our well is a good producing well so we can run, let it run but you have to make sure that your well has sufficient water before you start watering large numbers of trees. We usually let this drip tape work for about eight hours and in an eight hour cycle it'll wet all these trees and get the ground wet all the way up and down the rows. If we see places where the the tape is broken, like over here you can see there's a small break, then we'll go back and we'll put a union in that spot and, and reconnect it. The tape can break because rodents come along and chew on the tape. Things like mice, foxes, dogs come along and chew and they actually chew this along with rabbits doing the most damage and we find that we have to repair these about once a week we go over our lines but one small leak like this isn't too bad but we usually correct them every now and then when we see a bad leak